what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel and to another episode of farm manager 2021 as you guys can see we do have a new update on the channel here we have a new intro and that intro is for us hitting the 500 subscriber mark and i just want to say thank you to everyone who's joined the community and has helped me to reach that milestone i really appreciate it to all the first subscribers who were here from the beginning and to all the new ones that joined the community and to help me get here i want to say thank you to you guys um clearly you guys are enjoying the content that i am putting out on the channel but you know there's always room for improvement and if there's something that you guys would like me to do to kind of make the channel a little bit more entertaining and more attractive to you guys just leave a comment in the comment section below also tell me what you guys think of the new intro that we have for the channel um, i put a lot of work into it just for the 500 subscriber mark and that's kind of why my video is a little bit late so been trying to make it as presentable as possible so i hope you guys do enjoy it um so without any further ado we're gonna jump into our game here where we left off in the last episode where we made up our nine nine can't count oh horrible start to the new the new intro where we made up our fields here um our eight fields that we have and our little thing put in some trees and stuff i did go ahead and throw in a little garage right here just so if any of the vehicles broke down i don't think we need it but you know it's nice to have it back there um let's bring up the ui here right now there we have a field that's ready to be harvested and i noticed that no one is coming out to harvest this so i'm not sure if it's it's saying that we have a little bit of people so let me come over here and just take a look. We have room for two more people inside of this building. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hire some more people and see if that'll be enough for them to come over. Because if not, then I'm going to have to throw down uh, one of the seasonal worker houses, which I don't mind doing because I think that would actually be pretty good to kind of have a set amount of seasonal workers here to also help out so let's go ahead and let us let's grab we could grab some people that are good on plants um i'm not sure if that's gonna really do anything but we could grab them and see but i prefer to grab people who know how to use machines so let's grab this one and this guy here and i will go into the house and just make sure that they are leveled up and then drop down their monthly wage thing their monthly work hours that they have and let's see if these guys come out here now and head down to the fields if not we're going to have to are you walking down to the fields here yeah okay yeah there we go so that's exactly what we needed so we might need to get a few more people here also looking at the amount of workers that we have here we have 120 so i think for our research that we did the last research which was completed we were at 150 maximum that's where we're at so we're only 30 workers away and with what we have planned for today we're gonna need to get this on this ball rolling to get up to the 300 and up to the 500 people here so we're gonna go ahead and start this one this is gonna be 30 days to get up to another 150 uh workers cap so up to 300 in total and we'll kind of watch this side of the field we only have a few tractors over here but i think we will need just so we don't have fields and stuff that are just sitting around and no one being able to come and harvest them uh, i think this might be an issue later on so now these guys are out here harvesting up the beets which should be pretty good for us because we can now take the beets and use it to feed some more of our animals right um we'll keep an eye on this to see if we have multiple fields that are is calling for more people i could put down another house here um just in case if any of these fields are going to be ready to go and let's kind of look around yeah that one is 11 days this one is 23 four days oh yeah we're gonna need some more people so let's go and throw down the seasonal worker house and i'm gonna destroy some of my trees that i had over here but I'm going to put this house right here in the front. Yeah, I want to keep that tree in the back. So I'll just throw this here. Let that build up. And then we will 
change the amount of workers we don't need to have 12 set of workers over here because then i just think we're going to be wasting a lot of our capacity on people just sitting down and not really having much to do so there we go these guys are hard at work building up the scaffold and all right now this is done let's head to here and drop this down i'm gonna put this down to four so I'm going to say we want four maximum extra workers to come in for the season. And we're going to zoom out a bit. And just to make sure that we can see all of our fields. And then we're going to reduce the radius. Same thing like what we've done for all of our other fields and all of our other buildings that we've had. So get that running. And that should be more than enough. Once they start hiring people in, we should have more than enough for everyone to go out and harvest up the rest of these fields. Okay. So next thing that we're going to be doing today we have our bales over here being failed <laughs> and then we have another field over here you see we're just running we don't have enough people to be able to come out and grab up a lot of this stuff and yeah it's just people personnel is the issue right now so let's head back here um we have our lupin field that's being cultivated which is good and what month are we in we're in september right now okay we're in september and i think what happened while we were running the game along is that we ran out of manure right now we have fifty-two thousand manure but i guarantee once those fields have started coming back in we're gonna run out of manure really really quickly so what i want to do to kind of get ahead of the game is to throw down not some more cows because we have a lot of milk and the milk is being processed over here in all in these buildings if we go to one of our warehouses oh not not the silo if i can click on the warehouse there we go if we go here and then we type in we only want to see the organic stuff that we have we have ten thousand milk ten and a half k milk inside of the storage right now and then i think one of these yeah this one has another ten thousand milk just sitting in here which the workers need to come and pick up. So we're going to kind of rearrange the things that we have over here. Um, for one, I want to purchase this plot of land because I want to get more animals that will be able to produce oh, warehouse for grass. Oh, yeah, we have a ton of grass in here. So let's head to our cell and we will increase or actually we'll go to trade and we'll see if we have something for trade so we'll get this all automated let's see grass yeah so we're gonna sell anything let's pause the game just because we don't want to sell the stuff while we're actually doing this so we want to sell anything that is above um let's say 35k in grass right so sell anything above 35k that should be good we have 72 we don't need that much until we get more animals then we might need more so let's pause again because now they want to harvest this field and they're not able to because of the storage being full so i want to go to buy more land and what we're going to do we're going to purchase this plot of land right here uh, we have all of this space, but I don't want to move a lot of this stuff over here. I might have to put more fields down on this side. So I want to kind of start utilizing this area over here. So let's go ahead and let's purchase this. Now we have a road that's right here and then another road coming in. So we're going to extend this road. Oops. We are going to extend this road coming, let's say maybe over here. And then the same thing with this one. We'll just run it all the way over and get that all lined up. So let's get one more uh, cow shed right here. So let's go to build. We're going to go to our animals and then we're going to get the large cow shed, not the pigsty. That's a little bit later. So let's get the large shed right here for the cows. And we're going to put this one, rotate this around just to make sure that we have this in the right spot we're gonna place this right here that's gonna build up and then i want to put down some more behind here but these ones are all going to be um we're gonna start getting some deers 
and we're kind of moving forward in the sense of we are setting ourselves up for different types of animals and you know what just to kind of get a different variety of stuff in in we're gonna come down just a little bit here and just make sure that we kind of throw all of these in where they will fit and where they'll line up and behind here we can just throw some trees and some decorations in just to make it kind of look look a little bit nice you know so we don't just have a farm where everything is just really really compact and together it's technically on some farms you do have a bunch of animals with a bunch of decorations and stuff and we're gonna come out to maybe here and then take this and run this all the way down to this side so while this is coming up we are gonna need power for this so let's go ahead and start preemptively placing down some power stations oh we'll we can put one here oh we're not going to be able to get this one so what i'll do is i'll place one of these right here place one there and then we will run this and get it connected to this power pole that's right there so that kind of runs and connects everything up and then we'll put one more of these right over here right here that should be fine and then connect this up oh whoa uh -oh. let's make sure we kind of clear this up a little bit there all right let's go back and grab our poles and we'll do this one and run it straight up to that one, like that so these are slowly coming in now with these new buildings coming here if we click on this we'll see that we need three people to run this so we're gonna need some more houses down on this side so i will rotate a few houses i'll put one down on this corner here and then we will put another one um right up here and yeah it's right next to the cow sheds that's perfectly fine that is perfectly fine let's kind of speed the game oh the game was missed pause let's kind of speed the game up a little bit here and let that run on um now we have this area here but i think a lot of the sheds down here they're not going to be in range of a warehouse so we're going to need to put down a warehouse and a bunch of stuff just down on this side to make it easier for our guys to be able to walk and go to the storages and pick up a lot more stuff so if i come here and I say, let's grab another warehouse. And I'm going to grab a warehouse. Rotate around just a little bit so we can see the front. And we're going to put this warehouse right here. Then we're going to grab a barn. Because we will need a barn. And we'll throw the barn right here. So with the barn, the warehouse, and everything, this is good. We will need to have some more of these um manure the manure storage and i think we should now nah, we're not going to put it next to the house we're going to put it over on this side it's a bit far away from a lot of this stuff but i we only need one right so let's rotate this around we only need one of these and i'm going to throw this right here let's get the road connection set up there we go so now this section over here also needs power hmm there we go and we're gonna drop this right here will we need another power station if we put anything else down on this side will we need another power station i think we will so i'm gonna throw this at the back here and then just run this up and get it connected right over there so now all of this area now has power and i'm going to head into this house right here and higher and we'll run the game on one speed just so we can see if we have any people in here that are really good with animals that we can pull in oh 3000 uh, that's a little bit too high so i'm gonna say let's go ahead and let's grab no manual work because we don't want them to go too far to work no manual work and no manual work and we'll grab these three for now 
If there are more people, we'll grab them later on. We'll put all of you into house 18. So we'll run the game along. So now with all of this done, we're now ready to start pulling people in. This building here is going to be for more cows. And I know it does take a little bit to kind of breed all the animals up and everything. So these guys are walking all the way over here to be able to come and put this th put the uh the resources inside instead of going up to that warehouse so i think this is a bit too far so what i'm going to do as well right here i'm going to put another warehouse and i'm just going to drop it right there okay and that's for another side of the plans that we have for today as well okay uh so now we still need more people so I'm going to continue coming in here and kind of looking around and seeing if we find anyone like these people are really, really cheap. So we're just going to grab people here. And if we can find people with endurance and stuff, that'd be really, really nice. So these guys are ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in, we can hold a total of 14 deer. So we're going to go and we're going to say, I'm going to buy up probably that six, seven seven of these guys for now let's get the food selected we have apples we're gonna feed them grass we're gonna feed them apples and we're gonna feed them oats and beets as well all right we can buy up another seven over here there we go and we will feed them the same thing so that means these guys will be fully fed and i need to head into my trade just to make sure that we don't sell apples so Let's see if we had, nope, we had no apples or apricots set up. So we're going to add trade and we're going to find apples. And we're going to sell our organic apples. And we want to say we have 20,000 20, of this in stock right now. We Because the apples take so long to grow, we want to make sure that we're not selling too much of this. And we still have some in stock to be able to feed our animals. Later on down the line, when we get the bigger apple orchards, we're going to need to be able to use the apple to make like applesauce or something like that, or apple juice. So I'm going to say on hand, let's go ahead and let's keep 15,000 apples. That should be more than enough. Let's say 15,000 apples on hand, just because we want to make sure that we always have some in. And I'm going to say, whenever we get down to 1000, go ahead and purchase some more apples. The apricots is going to be the same thing but for now i know we won't need a lot of apricots so i'm going to just go ahead and sell all of my apricots and not really worry about it so this is selling bales at twenty-five thousand, and when i go down below then it'll buy up some more bales i probably should do the same thing for grass yeah we don't have something for grass i thought i just put one in i didn't interesting okay let's make sure that we put a grass in here so we had it set at 35,000 so let's go in here and we'll say sell anything above the 35,000 and once we get below 1,000 go ahead and bring that in as well okay we need to go here and add a trade and we need to find apricots grab it and we're going to do the same thing for the apricots. We're going to say sell. We only have 4,000 of our apricots. We want to keep 1,000 of these in stock just for now. And if we get below 100, we'll buy up some more. For now, we can just sell this and just make a bunch of money off of it. Um, so yeah, that should do it for all of our trade stuff that we have. It's now the 23rd. We're going to go and see if we can find some more people that are animal specialties. Oh, this is very expensive. This is really expensive, but we're going to go ahead and bring in all of these guys just because I want to get everything up and running. How many more spaces do we have? So this building is completely full, right? You needed one more person. So let's go ahead and throw this guy in. And then over here, I'll go ahead and throw in these other two, right? Let's make sure that there aren't any other people over here for animals. No. Okay. So let that run on um we want to make sure that these guys over here are good you are fully upgraded get you fully upgraded 
And I'm going to take you off. Nope, I'm going to leave the manual work on. All the food and everything is set. We're waiting for the animals to be delivered. This one here, we'll go ahead and we'll buy ooh, another seven. Oop, too many. That's fine. That's fine. Go ahead and use the organic and get all of the food selected as well. So we just need to kind of look around and make sure at all times that we're just checking to make sure that we fill these up. So once we are waiting, here comes some of the deers here. That's pretty good. Uh, we have everything here that we should have for all the animals to be able to do what we want them to do. Um, I would love if I can go ahead and reduce the radius of this so that it's only working the farms that are over on this side because i think that this is very very good to have it like this so that these guys don't go wandering all over the place all the time so we'll pull this back and yeah you're only going to be able to do a certain amount of fields all right so there's no road to this warehouse right here let's go ahead and drop a road down one dirt road coming up there we go Okay, so how are we doing for everything else? Looks like everything else is good so far. The deers are coming in. We just have to keep an eye on more hires that we will need for animals. All right, we have two, but these guys are expensive. Eh, we'll get them. Oh, what's going on here? Why don't you have any food? Oh, I think I have to tick. I have to go back and tick these guys to be working manual yeah hmm did i mess something up there we go increase that just a little bit here just to make sure you know what oh yeah we're missing the oh i completely forgot about that we're missing this building right here we're going to need one of these. And I'm going to throw down maybe a few of these. Just so we have it. And that our workers don't have to walk too far when they're trying to come in. Grab some food for the animals. Over here next to this clinic. We're going to put another one. Even though we have one right here. I just want to make sure that everything is like in accessible reach for everyone. All right. So I don't know why these guys are not getting food. You should be getting food. Oh, there we go. Now they're eating. Okay. I don't know what I did. Maybe I reduced the uh, the radius a little bit too much here. Let's increase this. Yeah. I had, it doesn't matter to me if they're working here. Just let, let's just increase everything. And once these start coming in, I think that should be it. This area here isn't really that far. So we didn't really need to put two of them. This is like really overkill. But it also increases our overall uh, storage that we need. All right. So let's let the game run on and we'll see if we can find four more people to fill up our house that we have here. Okay. And then this one, we're going to have some cows. Um, I'm yeah, we're going to have cows. I'm not going to I'm going to start feeding them. I can't start feeding them some beets. But yeah, let's let's feed the cows some beets. Instead of feeding them, we have a bunch of crop. Our crop is running down, but we'll keep an eye on that just to make sure that everything is good. Uh, we can start feeding them beets as well, just so it kind of makes them happy. There we go. So they can get fed beets as well. Um, what I'll do though, because we have a lot of cows here, I will just transfer some of these cows over. So I'm going to say we have 14. Let's transfer two from each one of the sheds. And then we'll just let them reproduce. Oops. There we go. And it will come over here. And transfer two more from this one over into shed. So now you should have seven. Yeah, that should be fine. And everyone is getting good food. Yes, they are. All right. So now that is looking pretty good. Um, I'm hoping if we go to our 
manure storage here. Yeah, you can see that this is slowly dwindling down. So we need to set up another thing of animals over here. Another thing that we're going to need with just pure animals. And that's going to be our... We come all the way back up here. It's going to be the large pigsty. So I'm going to go ahead and start throwing this down. Um, I think I want to have the pigs coming. Oops, hold on a second. Did I not select food? Oh, no, I did. Okay, they'll be fine. They'll figure it out. Let's go back to get our large uh, pigsty, which is right here. And we're going to have a lot of space over here. So let's take our pigs here. And it would be really, really good to just have them so that we can put some more of them over here. But how do I want the roads to be? Um, right now, we're going to have a lot of space up here. And I do have a lot of space right here where I can put some more houses and get some more pigs in as well. So let's rotate it because they're pretty small. So let's go one. Oh, there we go. Two. And we're going to put maybe... I think each of, I'm not sure how many of these pig styes we're gonna need. We can start out with three for now, but I think we can slowly start expanding a little bit here. And I think these guys are gonna have a serious issue with all the pigs, like right across from them. Um, yeah, let, let's throw down some more. We'll throw down another three. And this is like a massive increase of animals. There we go. And let's grab the road, rotate this around. Ooh, okay, that's not good. I don't, I don't like that. There we go. So I'm hoping that with all of the pigs that we're gonna have here, we should be able to hopefully, hopefully, keep up with the amount. Oh, and our research is done. But I'm hoping that we should be able to keep up with all of our production of manure that we're going to have. So these guys will slowly start reproducing. And I just want to make sure that everyone is in range of this clinic. Yes, they are right here. And then up here, if we want to do the other animals that come from the pigsty, which is the, the boars. Oh, you just flipped all the way around. All right, let's head over, head back over in this direction. Um, perfect. We can get one more of these towers and we can put it right here and get this all connected up like that. There we go. So now all of you guys should have power and we are going to need possibly some more houses. All right, so I'm going to drop a house here. For now, I think each of these take, oh, they take three as well. Oh boy, that's a, lot, that's a lot of houses. All right, let's take this one here and we'll put down another house like right here. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of houses. Let's see. We have two more people in here that we can hire. Uh, let's pause a bit and let's hit the cows. Yep, nice cheap people. Let's grab you and you. And now this house is full. Was this filled up? No, it was not. So let's drop you over here and let's get you hired in. We'll take one more person here, assign him and get him fully leveled up. And then we will go and we will just purchase, say, we can hold 24 of them. So let's get uh say 10 10 of them there we go let's get 10 of the pigs and that way we'll be able to take care of them while they multiply and kind of we can use them we'll fill up three we'll get 30 pigs and then we'll just use them to go over to our other uh pig styes while we're waiting to pull some more people in um let's get the food selected ray we do have ray so we're gonna feed you ray we're gonna feed you oats we're going to feed you corn and we're going to feed you soya. 
So we want to keep an eye on all of this stuff here. And just kind of make sure that we have enough soya and ray. We might have to start growing ray for ourselves. Um, this looks all good. We have the three. I'm going to throw them in here. And then this person needs to be fully upgraded. There we go. So now this pig sty is full. Now I need to fill up. I need another six people. How many can you hold? You can hold uh, five. So I might need another one here. And then this should be more than enough houses for all of these guys over here. All right. So we're letting this go on. Pigs are coming in. We should start. Actually, you know what? Now, I don't have any of the manure stuff close by to the pigs. So, we might need to get another warehouse. And, unfortunately, my friends, you guys will have to have a big storage right here next to you. So that they can come over and drop their stuff off. Or, I'm going to have to put it down here. Which, which isn't too bad. Let's throw it down on this end. And let's get the road connected to it. There we go. We're not going to put it next to the houses. They're, they're, it's bad enough that they're right next to all of the deers and the cows. Especially the, these two houses. It's just horrible. <laughs> this is really horrible. Let's head in here one more time. See if we can find some more people. Ah, man, we're just getting really unlucky. A lot of expensive people today. But we're making... We should be making some decent money. We're down to 681000 um, I do want to go and check those fields over there, but we just brought in another three people. So let's go ahead and assign, and we have one person that we can assign in this one. And let's just check, make sure that they're fully upgraded. There we go. And then, and then you, you as well. Yes. All right. So we'll go by, by. Just a few of these pigs and then get their food selected we need to start growing some lupin so that we can just feed them all five different types of food i don't know if that gives us a boost or a bonus or anything but that'll be pretty nice is are you full nope we need two more people here which will actually fill this up that's nice that'll actually fill up this house right here and i mean the shed right here and make sure these guys are good yes they are okay um yeah all right, so we got this connected up to the road. The pigs are coming in. We're ordering 10 more pigs here, and we need to buy another 10 over here as well. We'll get nine for now. And once a lot of these are filled up, we'll start transferring them across just to make sure that, look at this. Yeah, look at that. These two already, they're breeding up. So we're repopulating all of our animals already. That's really nice. So the farm over here is looking good. Uh, the fields over here look like we have a bunch more fields that just got harvested. Oh man, these pigs are already on it. We bought 10. They're already ready to multiply. <laughs> Let's go in here and see if there's one more person that we can get just to top this off. Oh yeah, pause. We can get three. Let's grab you. Did I just fire them? A sign. Okay, no, I did not. Wow, you guys are must brothers or... Sebastian and Leon. Yeah, your brothers. <laughs> I've, I've come to the conclusion that you guys are brothers. So we have 10, 11, and 9 over here. Um, I'm just going to buy 5. I'm going to buy 5 of these pigs here. And then get them set up for food and stuff. And we're just going to let this run on now. And hopefully we can have all of our pigs multiplied up and then we'll just keep an eye on these sheds i need one more person to fully max that house out not the house to fully max that uh pigsty out so that way we'll be good and have enough people to run everything so i think that's yep okay so 26 and yeah you're the last one that i'm gonna bring in i'm not gonna bring in this 2900 we're not ready for them when we need them we will get them in and have them uh do some more stuff so did i upgrade the uh sebastian and leon two brothers the two identical brothers with two different last names oh god i upgraded the beast <laughs> that's fine all right there we go yeah look at that these guys are already breeding up so that should be pretty good 
and with the pigs with the pigs we're going to be getting manure and liquid manure so we're oh wait did we did we set up a sale a trade for manure look at that guys yeah so a lot of the manure that we had is gone because we're taking all the manure and then just throwing it onto our fields now so that means that our fields that we had over here most of them yeah yep yep a lot of these have been harvested yep we have five fields that's been harvested and getting plowed and seeded two of these are being seeded this one is being harvested right now and it's just from these two fields why we ran out of manure which is ridiculous that's crazy so i'm going to have to order in some more manure just to kind of make sure that we're always on top of it until we start producing enough to be able to sustain ourselves yeah we're down to yeah okay yeah 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 yeah. let's do it let's get um let's buy some manure actually i'm gonna say let's let's set a trade for it let's do the trade let's do the trade for the manure so buy up to fifty thousand manure to make sure that we always have and then i'm gonna say we can start selling when we're at say two hundred thousand manure if we get up to two hundred thousand we we should not need that much manure ever so we only have five thousand which is just bad so we're gonna have to hire uh buy a bunch of it just to be able to take care of a lot of our fields and our fields are going to need it is this one fully fertile nope fertilizing so this guy's coming around to come and grab some more manure for the manure station here to be able to go and finish up our fields okay so everything is looking good i think we have done quite a lot we're harvesting up everything here we have the onions which have 11 days left and then we have the other potato two potato fields which are both running at 39 days the beets the fodder beets over here those are actually growing already 41 days already growing this one is planting up Yep, that's cultivating. So there's a lot of work going on in this area. So we're up to 896,000. So we're making money. We can go in and check our finances here just to make sure that we're bringing in profits and we'll check the estimated budget. So monthly, oh, monthly, we're only bringing in 176,000 a month. And we are making 2.3 million a year, which is not too bad. It's not too bad. Daily, we're always in the negative for daily so let's go and check our um our trade here so we already harvested up the fodder beets oh we don't have any so we need to add a trade item for fodder beets there we go and then we need to add a trade item for parsley there we go and i think we're gonna need carrots as well yeah let's throw the carrots in because we did bring a harvest of carrots in so for carrots we do make two different things of carrots we have the frozen carrots and then we have the carrot juice so we have eighteen thousand carrots we don't really need the carrots right now so i'm gonna say let's pause it and i'm gonna say sell anything above our two thousand carrots until we start requiring to have more carrots in then we will say yeah we will increase this number above our capacity of what we'll need for the parsley i'm not sure if we need parsley for anything so i'm gonna say just sell all the parsley right now so sell above zero for our parsley for the fodder beets because we're using it to feed both the cows and the deers i'm going to say let's keep twenty thousand. so we're gonna sell anything that's above twenty thousand fodder beets and then we'll buy if it gets below one thousand the carrots i will kind of leave it the parsley we'll watch the carrots until we start using it in different areas but well the parsley we can sell all of that and hopefully we can turn around and make some money off of this um because this was a lot a big investment even just to get the irrigation set up on these fields that was eight hundred thousand dollars 
so that's a very 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 big investment over here so yeah we have 15 days left for this potato field and then we have five days for the onions which i should probably go and set up i don't think we need the onions the potatoes we will need the potatoes we will need so let's go in here and we'll actually set up something for the onions so when we do harvest our onions i don't think we need the onions for anything yet so let's grab the onions here and we're gonna say sell onions over one uh, let's say over two thousand just because i'm not sure if we're gonna need it and then the potatoes potatoes i don't want i want to buy at 500 but then i want i'm gonna use the potatoes for multiple things so i'm going to say we can sell anything over um 15 000 for now until we start using the potatoes in another area as well all right so let's go back and check the farm while these guys are you know taking care of everything we do have two tractors here that'll still be able to come out and grab up some more stuff this potato field is 30 this one is 11 and then we have a day this this is ready to go okay so we should have enough people over here yep these guys are heading over to the field to go and grab the onions great perfect there we go guys look at that these two are just riding on the back of the tractor yeah sorting out all the onions which is pretty cool this is pretty cool nice <laughs> all right so the onions are coming in we're gonna see how much money we make um i do want to wait until we get this field harvested just to kind of see the amount of yield that we will get from our potatoes um but it looks like everything is good we're still at seven seven hundred and ninety one thousand um finances are looking pretty good we're down to seven thousand 184 so we've kind of increased yeah kind of going up a little bit here and it's i think it's just with the sale of everything that we're doing for our crops crops is dropping our ray is dropping and our ooh, the soy is dropping as well so i might have to go over here and type in our soya yeah we might have to increase this to say 2000 it might be about time to increase this up for a lot of the stuff that we're buying to feed our animals just to make sure that we always have more than enough to take care of these guys so let's see Ooh, these look filled up already 22 out of 24 <laughs> these guys are this one is 24 out of 24 24 out of 24 wow these guys are really really multiplying so how much liquid manure do we have we're up to 52,000 uh, manure and we're up to 29, I mean, 2,900, 3,000 of the liquid manure. So I'm thinking we probably should be able to get the rest of these. We have a slot for another five workers. All right. So over here now is just a matter of just kind of throwing down some decorations and stuff just to make sure that everything looks good. But I think that this is a nice spot to go ahead and call it an episode. Um, we still, I don't think we got the potatoes in yet. Oh, potatoes are being harvested right now, actually. So let's actually see how much potatoes we get. Onions. Um, I think we actually sold all of our onions, didn't we? Oh, yeah, we sold all the onions that we had. We're only down to 2,000. And yeah, there we go. Maybe I should just sell all the onions because I'm I don't think we need it for anything. So onion sell. Um everything over zero. Just sell it all. All the onions. We don't need it. There we go. Potatoes look like it's a pretty decent haul that's coming in here. Can we click on this and it tells us how much potatoes we have in here? Up. Oh, trailer. 48,000 potatoes from this field. 50,000 potatoes. Wow. Wow. That's nice. That is fantastic. So 50,000 potatoes 
51,000 from this harvest here. That is pretty, pretty good. Look at that. Now, how much of this are we going to sell? I forgot what we set it to. Let's see it again. Potatoes. Yeah, we're keeping 15,000 of potatoes and then selling everything else. So we should make a nice penny off of this here when that sells. So yeah, there we go, guys. This side over here looks like it's going to be very, very profitable. The plow is now coming out and plowing this side of the field, which is good. Um, we are about to hit December, which is just great. And yeah, there, there goes. There it goes. The potatoes just sold and we're up to 1.3 million, which is fantastic. But all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to wrap up this episode here. Um, again, I want to say thank you to everyone for the support on the channel and for helping me to reach the 500 subscriber milestone the next milestone is going to be 1000 and i'm looking forward to everyone that joins in on the community and all the old community members that are here i hope you guys still stick around and enjoy all the content and watch the growth of the channel from now on so i hope you guys did enjoy this episode if you did don't forget to like share and leave a comment in the comment section below if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get notified of when new contents get posted to the channel. And until next time, everyone, big up on yourself.